can't keep. It never hurts to you know clean up your workstation, rub down the sink, rub down the counters and everything. And then so for the star sand, I've already got um, about half an ounce, and you want about a quarter ounce per gallon of water, actually. And to fill it up, you just turn it upside down like this. Well, on the side, and you just squeeze. It'll fill up this little section here. Or you can just pour it out there. So just put all of that in there. Stir it around a little. Woo! I guess in my eye. That's not good. I didn't quite use as warm water as I find out. Just make sure everything's nice and clean sand. I just throw everything in that's not breakable. First, let me do my lid, though. Get my boil kettle. Um, um, I guess I didn't say it earlier, but you want a pretty good sized boil kettle. You know, you don't want like a, like a, like this. You don't want this. <laughs> you want something that'll at least hold one or two gallons. I'm just gonna put this on top. Speed up my, speed up my boil there. And again, with star sand, the nice thing is you don't have to rinse it. You know, you just put it on there. It's not gonna affect the taste. It's not gonna affect the flavor. Nothing, you know. It's it's a pretty good deal. So you just want to make sure you get every single crevice to touch it. My strainer. You'll see there'll be some bubbles on it. Not to worry. That's just how you know it's clean. Doing its job. As you can see, there's a lot of bubbles in that kit. But that's fine. Make sure you do your um, hydrometer. Get your yeast packet in there. Just kind of soak it a little. And make sure you get every single little piece of your airlock as well. And at this point, you don't really need to scrub or like rub anything down. Just because you know you got all the dirt off um, earlier, so. You should be fine. Again, I'm just going to sanitize the sink. Whole area around. Looks like everything else is good. Again and again, again, the boil kettle does not need to be cleaned too well. It's going into the boil. All right. Now to do the this guy, put a little bit inside. I'm just kind of clean up the outside. And then when you have the stuff, some of it inside, just kind of tilt it. come into contact with every single piece of that surface inside. Okay. And if you're not sure if you got everything, just kind of scrub around a little more. Just try to drain as much as you can. So that'll be ready for later. I'm actually going to put the lid on this now, just so I don't let it contaminate to the air or anything. And I'm going to put it down here. Do not let me forget that. I'm going to have this guy ready to put on top. Oh, 
before that, we'll have the hydrometer reading, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. a little. May I stop it again just for um, YouTube's sake?